Chameleons are not the only masters of disguise here in Madagascar. Another group of lizards, the Europlatus or leaf-tailed geckos, are second to none in terms of their mimicry. In fact, there's one just above me on a branch, and you would never know it was there. It isn't until this mossy leaf-tailed gecko decides to change position that its presence becomes known. Here is the same gecko from a more revealing angle. All leaf-tailed geckos are nocturnal and arboreal. They spend their days sleeping in branches or flat against the trunks of trees. When properly positioned, these geckos practically disappear. This species possesses delicate flaps of skin along the jaw, body, and limbs, completely breaking up the gecko's outline, and, when at rest, rendering it invisible. This giant leaf-tailed gecko is a perfect match for the lichen-covered branches throughout the rainforest. This species also possesses the dermal flap along the flanks of its body. Notice how well the feet blend in against the bark of the tree branch. Some leaf-tailed geckos have evolved to camouflage better where small trees, bushes, and woody branches dominate the environment. This is one of the rarest of all leaf-tailed gecko species. It's an endangered Gunther's leaf-tailed gecko. The satanic leaf-tailed gecko is so named due to the horn-like projections above its eyes. This particular variety combines the textured quality of lichen and moss with a pattern reminiscent of dead leaves. Interestingly, this is also a satanic leaf-tailed gecko. The variety here perfectly mimics a dead leaf and is nearly impossible to detect in bushes and low-lying vegetation, but will make its presence known as it hunts for insects at night. Only under the cover of darkness do the leaf-tailed geckos come out of hiding to perch themselves on an open branch and wait for prey, or, in the case of this eager male, to chase after a female. But sadly, it looks like luck is not on his side tonight. She got away. The giant leaf-tailed gecko is particularly interesting because it has more teeth, over 300, than any living terrestrial vertebrate. Another peculiar feature seen here is the complete lack of an eyelid. In fact, many gecko species, including the leaf-tailed geckos, lack eyelids. In their place is a modified transparent scale, called a brill, that covers and protects the eye. Given life in the rainforest, sometimes the brill needs a good cleaning to remove anything from debris, to the dozens of tiny red parasites feeding on blood along the edge of this gecko's eye. But how does a gecko manage to clean its eyes? Well, since they lack the ability to blink or rub their eyes with their hands, the answer is simple. They use their tongue. 